Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting, thanks to Roper Guillotine Records. I know I'm going to butcher this album's title. The label even said, good luck with the title. But, Left to Starve. Oh my goodness. This is such a killer monster of sludge. And there was something about it I couldn't quite put my finger on. But then I read who worked on it, and it was like, you're an idiot. But let me try to pronounce this bad boy. And we have Vapaj Va Morgrim. Now, I hope I am saying that correctly. Now, left to starve. First off, look at that logo. Hell yeah. And now you might be like, hey, this looks like a hell record. Well, guess who mastered this bad boy? Mastered by Matthew Williams at Sub Odin Studios. And I was like, man, this sounds like Electric Wizard. Like, dope throne error electric wizard meets hell self-titled and i was like wow like that's such a cool combination but now it like makes total sense because like this sounds like this is like pretty much the main riff from funeralopolis by electric wizard But like slowed down and just made very left to starve sounding. I like how they made it their own. And it's not the same exact riff, it just reminds me of it. And that rules. Because Electric Wizard were like a giant fuck you when it came to like stoner metal and like the whole like happy flower power you know sabbath worship which is like the sabbath worship stuff's always for the most part gonna be worth checking out depending on your taste in music but when it comes to certain like stoner metal bands, I feel like Electric Wizard, especially during Come Thy, F My, F F Come My Fanatics, or Come Thy Fanatics, I forget, and Dope Throne, especially, and then like all the pre-Electric Wizard stuff, the self-titled, but uh, what I'm mostly talking about is how filthy and miserable and heavy and even like sinister, evil, and psychedelic that Dope Throne is. Like that record is the best bad trip of Sonic Access maybe ever. It actually bothers me that I don't have a copy anymore. But for right now, when it comes to Sludge, we've been having some heavy battles with the Mismore Thou split and Left to Starve. But Left to Starve keep it just a little bit like more straightforward. I just really love this shit. Like this is like just it legit sounds like whales on like the bass. Like it, it's so heavy in the way that I love sludge to be overly heavy like the i want to know what amplifiers and like everything that was used like recording this record it's just one of those things and this is a collaboration with cosmic brood records but like i can't get over how just fucking sick this whole entire album is like, it's miserable. I mean, when you have tracks titled Lonely. Because, like, I do like how they actually, 
like you have the um and hold on one second i just want to make sure i'm giving you folks the right information yeah so they give you the english translation to the lyrics along with the original language so track one is landing operation looming over memories tormented by boredom lonely and in an abundance of stars make up this full length i wish they gave oh wait hold on is that the t nah i was about to say maybe one of these is the title hey buddy hold on one second folks hold on I'm making a video can you just give me a minute all right i'll be out in a minute sorry about that but uh Left to star play the type of sludge that seriously gets miserable, it's heavy, it's as heavy as this river of fucking blood. It, it's amazing. I don't know what else to say besides fuck yes. If you're a fan of grief, electric wizard, hell, Val, yeah. You're going to love Left to Starve on Roper Guillotine with Vapage Va Morgrim. Just an absolute gem of modern sludge. Like, there's no bullshit. It's just exactly what you want. Because, like, when it comes to sludge, you'll notice a lot of times, sometimes bands just start adding shit for the sake of what just feels like making the songs longer. And, like, I also love this little nod to, like, St. Vitus, Born to Late. And I don't know if that is a nod, but to me, it is. Do you get what I'm saying? Like... That might not be a conscious homage, but to me, you're paying homage to one of the masters with, you know, St. Vitus and Born Too Late. But Left to Starve, for the most part, play 90s style sludge metal. And if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you, but like, let's say the only like sludge bands you really know are like, I hate God, Weed Eater, Bongzilla, Hell, Ms. Moore, then I cannot recommend Left to Starve more. Like this is probably going to be one of your new favorite bands. And I know grief now exists as come to grief, but if you like the actual album come to grief by the band grief, yeah, you're gonna fucking love left to starve this whole record. I mean, anytime you make a four track record that this fucking massive I, I can't wait to hear more from Left to Starve. Vapage Va Morgrim. I'm giving this a nearly perfect sludgy score in my book. Because this is my shit. probably shouldn't even waste your time listening to Sludge, but I'm like 99% sure this is 180 gram, beautiful black vinyl. Roper Guillotine doesn't play games. They always send good LPs, and yeah, this fucking rules. This is definitely... Like, the last two releases they sent me, like, that Nightfucker LP, 
that split with the, what are they called? Uh, Leech Feast. The split with Leech Feast. Nightfucker and Leech Feast. Like, here's another, you know, just awesome release by Roper Guillotine. Wait, is that the wrong way? I always forget. But the, uh, the Nightfucker Leech Feast split. I would grab these both. Because you're making an order overseas, so it, you're better off just grabbing, honestly, both of these bad boys. So good. If you are a fan of sludge. But thank you again, Roper Guillotine, because otherwise I never probably would have ever heard of that band. And now I'm a huge fucking fan, and that record is just so goddamn good. And one more time, let's try and pronounce the title correctly. Vapage Va Morgrim. I Left the Starve on Roper Guillotine Records. And again, that mastering job by MSW kind of gives it that hell, like, vibe, and they just ride it out very well while doing their own thing and making a very interesting yet devastating slab of modern sludge metal. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. You two Roper Guillotine, seriously, so sick. Hail. Yeah. <laughs>